Hi students, welcome to my engineering graphics class. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar from QSAT. In this video on development of surfaces, we are solving a very simple question that has come very frequently in university examinations in various parts of our country, various universities of our country. The question is, a hexagonal prism, 25 mm side, a hexagonal prism, 25 mm side of base, and say 70 mm axis stand on HP on its base, stand on HP on its base with a side of base parallel to VP, with a side of base parallel to VP. I have drawn the plan and derivation. An insect stationed at the bottom corner A, A, bottom corner A, travels around the body in a straight line and comes to the point right above A. I repeat, an insect stationed at this corner A, corner A, travels around the body in a straight line and it comes to the point exactly above A. Find the shortest path and show it in the plan and elevation. That's the question. I have drawn the plan and elevation of the hexagonal prism with a side of base parallel to x line and I have drawn the development of the lateral surface. What is the development of the lateral surfaces? Surface that is six rectangles of what side? This side is 25. <coughs> Sorry, this side is 70. Six pieces, 25. A, B, C, D, E, F, A, G, H, I, J, K, L, G. Now, when an insect is traveling from A around the body, through the shortest path and reaching right above A. Above A is G. What is it? We can connect AG by a straight line. We can connect this AG by a straight line. Connect AG by a straight line. Agreed? You can measure this distance and give us an answer. A, G equals such and such. Agreed? Now, if you are asked to show this in the plan and elevation, you have to name them. 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash, 7 dash. Where is 1? 1 is at A dash itself. 1, or rather 1 dash. To get 2 dash, draw a horizontal line. 2 is on BH, so 2 dash will be on B dash H dash. 2 dash. 3 is on CI, so this C dash I dash will have 3 dash. Draw a horizontal line. Similarly, 4 dash. Similarly, 5 dash. Similarly, 6 dash. And finally, 7 dash. Now, connect. So, in the plan it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You need not connect them. 1 is at A, 7 is at G. You need not connect them because they lie on the periphery, on the hexagon itself. So you need not connect them. There is no meaning. Here you have to connect them. 1 to 2 by a straight line. Or 1 dash to 2 dash by a straight line. 2 dash to 3 dash by a straight line. 3 dash to 4 dash by a straight line. 4 dash to 5 dash by a straight line. 5 dash to 6 dash by a straight line. And 6 dash to 7 dash by a straight line. You must know. I mean, uh, something went wrong. Okay, this will be slightly below. This will be slightly below. You must know that these will be dotted. Agreed? So, the point path is like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, then 5, 6, 7, back side. You cannot see. That is why from 4 dash you don't see 4 dash, 5 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash, 6 dash, 7 dash. You cannot see that because it is on the back side of the prism. These lines in the elevation will not have the same slope. This slope will be same as this, but this will be different slope. Agreed? And here also. 
this four slopes will be same, these two slopes will be same, same but the opposite direction. This is the straight line. We are showing them in the plan and elevation by elevation by drawing horizontal lines and cutting the respective vertical edge. Horizontal lines will be the other vertical edge will cut. This is the pentagonal prosthetal path and the diagram. Square prosthetal path and the diagram. Cylindral path and the diagram. You can also be asked. You can be asked to find out this angle theta. The slope of the path. Slope of the path. Actual path. Agreed. It remains. It keeps a constant slope. Originally. But in the elevation it will look different. I hope you understood it. If it is okay, please subscribe my channel and share it among your friends and like it. Okay. Thank you.